What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to 7 Days to Die, version 1.11, Buck Trader. We're going to 100% all of the Trader's Quest on this procedurally generated 6K map. We're on the morning of day 7. Horde Night's not until day 10. So what we're going to do is go in here and do this quest. It's the first of the Tier 3s. And then we're going to go right there. And I think that's where I'm going to build my horde base at. We may even have to clear that out. I don't remember if I've cleared it out or not. So I may have to clear that out. It is day seven. We do need to get moving on the horde base. But I figured since I was in town, might as well grab at least something to do while I'm in town. Aside from just, you know, building a horde base. So here we go. This is what we're doing. This is an infestation. I don't know if the boar, I think there's some boar back here too. Boar barn fields. So I think there might be some out here. We're going to deal with them in a minute. Uh, a couple of housekeeping procedures and I may go into these afterward. Uh, I do have some more mods and stuff. I will, I'll give you an updated mod list after this POI. I thought usually there's somebody in there. Doesn't look like there is this time, though. Unless they won't spawn in until I get real close. Let's try it out. Okay, yeah, there's nobody in here. Usually, or there used to be, somebody would spawn in right there. Uh, yeah, it does count him. There's a lumberjack over there. Let's get some bonus hits in on him while he's... Oh god, this thing has such a hard drop to it. Ugh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, there's another lumberjack. Boy, oh boy. I want to get... Oh, oh, you son of a bitch. Get away. Oh, you bastard. Ow, what the... Really? Ugh. I'm going to go ahead and get these. Alright. I guess let's go ahead and bandage that up real quick. I think we got physician that should take care of it. Uh well, it goes way down. He's up there screwing around. I'm just gonna let him continue to do that. Roll. Who's Raul? I don't know anybody named Raul. I shot you in your nads. Ah, shit. Ha uh -huh. Eat it! Hey, don't blow up the tractor. I may need the parts from that one day. Suck it! Again, this is an infestation. Oh, can't get to his head. But I can get to his brown eye. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, hell. By the way, I've got Double G's uh, zombie mod in here. Ah, get off that shit. Holy fucking hell. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to use this, I see. Oh, hell, that feral's still alive. We're probably gonna be uh, dumping a mod here shortly, because... Um... I've been watching Double G's uh, 
channel. If if you don't know Double G, he sounds like a really cool dude. I've heard, I've, I've seen some of his streams and stuff. He's he's a pretty cool guy, and uh, he's the one that came up with obviously Double G zombie mod. But he's been having problems lately with the the spawning of zombies. He was initially having a problem with it spawning like ferals, and even though I'm level, I think I'm level 24, I don't think I should be getting ferals this quick. I was doing a test bed to make sure all of my uh, mods were working correctly before I got into this world and screwed my save up like I had before, because I don't feel like doing that again. And even though I was level 1 in the test bed, I was still spawning ferals. Just regular ferals. Now, initially... Initially, it was his mods that were spawning the ferals. But now, it appears as though it's changed. And now it's the regular zombies that are spawning ferals. So it looks like he's fixed a little bit of it. Bye-bye. Is there another fireman in there? Yeah, those firemen are tough, dude. Those firemen are super tough. Where the hell is... I hear... Maybe they're... I don't know where the hell they are. I mean, I might have to get rid of all these guys anyway so that's just a thing can't figure out how to get up to me yet I'll take care of them shortly just want to get all this done okay but yeah so his his mod was spawning ferals um, and it was spawning ferals of his mod. You little asshole. Ow. Little dick face. Go through that in a minute. Looks like there might be a couple more up here. Maybe. Maybe. Yep. Holy hell. Oh shit. Oh. Well, at least I landed in the hay. Alright, let's uh, take a breath and then see what we can do to take care of all these assholes. Good lord. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. Like I said, he is a tough dude. Okay, zombies are done. Yeah, man. First time back in the game. I mean, I played with my wife and son a couple of times the past couple of months, but this is my first time in this save uh, since late August, maybe early September. Pre-surgery. Which, by the way, surgery was success. Everything worked out fine. It was just a long recovery period. So I want to thank you guys for, for bearing with me on that. It has been a hell of a recovery. But I'm where I need to be. I'm almost completely healed. I got one of those already. Can I put it on? I think I've got any other bladed weapons I can put it on. I ain't that worried about it. So, almost 100%, which is great. Uh, then, and it was funny, because then I had, uh, then I got sick. I thought it was the coof. I thought it was COVID. Oh, fuck. Damn it. I thought it was COVID. was not, but kind of felt like it. And so, you know, started in my head, then went to my chest, and then, uh, and I'm just now getting over that. So, that's where we're at with everything. I do thank you guys for bearing with me. Hope you're enjoying Squirrel with a Gun, too. 
that was that was a game that I had been waiting to come out for a while, and it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and as you can see, we've got Isaiah's mod back, which is awesome. I missed it. Uh, now, the mod itself is the same as for 1.0, but Isaiah put up or Izzy, I don't know how. Uh, they put up a another particle loader specifically for making the 1.0 mod compatible with 1.1. So that's what I'm using. I tested it out, uh, I wouldn't say extensively, but fairly well. And it appears to be doing good. So, I might sell that or just scrap it. I don't really need that. Just get rid of it. Can I put... Okay, I've already got one of those on that, and I've already got the flashlight mod on that. I think I may just save that until I get a better weapon going. Let's get into these. But yeah, so uh, it's been a minute since I've recorded. I had to make sure everything was going good, and that everything that I wanted to run was compatible with 1.1. Because every time the Fun Pimps make an update, it screws somebody's mod up. Always does. Even if it had nothing to do with it. I don't understand how that works, but there you go. So let's get all this crap, load the bike up, and then we'll go take a look at the graveyard over there. I think that's what I'm going to use as my horde base for day 10. I'll just gather all this stuff, and uh, yeah, I'll see you over there. Yeah, I don't see any boar out here. So I guess that'll just have to do it. I'm not worried about all this corn right now either. Maybe, maybe at some point, just not right now. I am, however, going to take, uh, let's go ahead and repair that. Because I'm definitely going to need that. But let's toss that. And we'll go ahead and take some of this yucca. Since I haven't gotten to the desert yet, it'll be nice to have. And some blueberries. Why not? Why not? Alright, see what'll what'll drop here. And not a whole lot. Alright, let's ditch that. Go ahead and read the bow hunter books. Oh nice. Primitive Bow Quality 6. Something I'm not going to waste a legendary part on. Good to go. Alright, so let's uh mm. I think I might just, just to save space, just do that. Let's go ahead and get some cobble made. Hmm. Oh, because I put it in here. I'm an idiot. Boom, boom, boom. And let's go ahead and just transfer a few things over. That's an okay amount. And just because I'm here. Eh. There's the desert. I thought I had seen the desert at some point, and I was right. Oh, oh, ooh. Anybody else? I don't think so. Just him. Okay. Recog. Oh, I had already emptied the ambulance. What about the working stiff truck? Okay, um, ooh, that'll be handy for my pickaxe. Nice, that's garbage. 
More 9 mils, some more shoddy ammo too. Alright, cool stuff. That was totally worth it. Alright. Oof. We may be a bit full. We may have to go home. But let me tell you, so... Obviously the first time I tried One Buck Trader, I used this as the horde base before everything got all borked with uh, version 1.0. And this failed miserably. So, what I want to try to do... Ah, hell. What I want to try to do is do something a bit different. I'm going to use that up there. And just put stairs going straight up into it. And not have the walls in or have the... I had this as my first thing, but the problem is is that the zombies can spawn anywhere there's grass, anywhere there's just ground, right? And so there's a lot of it in this, this cemetery, and they came from all sides, and it, it just failed immediately, and it was terrible. It was a horrible time. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just use that up there as, you know, step up and then step up. And then that's where I'm going to do some melee and uh, some gun work. I don't think it's going to take too terribly long to get that going. But at the very least, we need to start on day 8. Just because I'm going to have to gather a lot of resources that I don't already have. So I think that's, that's where we're going to be with that. So, alright. Now that I know exactly what I'm going to do and I have a plan, let's go ahead and give this back to... Uh, to the trader. At least, congratulations. Here's your reward. Hmm. Sucker. I think I'm just going to take that. What else you got? I don't really want to do those. Uh, the Vacon residence. I don't like you, but maybe I'll change my mind if... Uh, let's get one thing straight. You're not working with me. You're working for me. That's not too terribly far away. We might go get that. So we may go get that. That's gonna be that's gonna be something I do. But here's some housekeeping procedures that I told you I would go over. We still have the auto claim challenges, uh, the GNS two x two Duke Collector, beautiful bases and warm weather mods, along with Jack Meister nine nine nines enhanced HUD and the Quick Stack mod. We still have the Craft from Containers mod, but it's the Craft from Containers Plus. We also have B Dubs vehicles, the Double G Zombies that I mentioned. All right, and obviously Isaiah's gun mods, all of them, uh, from 1.0 with just the particle loader for 1.1. I don't know if, if they're planning on making any changes to it or not, but that's what we've got going. So, you can tell we've got, see, we can make a, we can make a Blackhawk, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, that'll be nice, that'll be cool. When we get there, it'll be, it'll be a minute, but when we get there, uh, what do we got? Yeah, I guess, sure. Yeah, and that's the thing. Cool, all right. Now, I'm going to put, yeah, right there. So we've got a good amount of money. I wonder if we can afford, like, an AK or anything, because we're a long way from being able to make an AK, I think. Yeah. I mean, like, six. No, he's got the Sturm rifle. Which, the Sturm Rifle's Tier 1, I think that's the same as an AK. So he's got one of those. It's only 1700 for that? And I'm pretty sure that takes 762. We might go ahead and get that. that that'll that be worth doing. And then he's got a little bit of ammo. Not much, though. 61. Yeah. And we might get the high power, too, before Horde Night. You don't buy something next time, I'll shoot you. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that's what's going on. Let's see what we need to do now. Like I said, I think I might want to go get that and then come back. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and ditch that stuff because I'm just not gonna use it right now. Just take care of that. But yeah, I think I think we're gonna use a little coin and get that weapon. It'll be nice to have something other than the uh, other than this. It's got a little bit more damage than this, not much. But I might be able to put a couple of mods on it to increase the damage a bit more. So I'll keep my eyes open. And they do reset on day ten. So I don't know that I want to let it go, especially for 1700. I think it'd be worth just to get it. Forge ahead. That's that's always good news. A little bit of food, some farm bundle, crafting bundle to armor. A couple more forge ahead. I will take those. Man, eight more and we can craft the uh, chemistry station. That would be super duper nice. And I'm not going to worry about that farm bundle right now. I'll go ahead and eat all of these. And then we'll drink a red tea to offset the, the thirst factor. A couple of red tea. That should put us in a pretty good spot. Alright, so. Wait a minute. Haven't I done this POI in this playthrough? Maybe not. Okay. Cool, I guess. Damn! Get you in your naughty bits. Oh, hi, how are you? It's rude as hell. Ooh, hi, okay. What is that spinny bullshit? Oh, hell. Really? Well, Double G, it looks like your mod is not spawning the, uh, the ferals. And now that also could have been because it was a Tier 3 infestation. It really could have been. But I know I had heard him talk about the fact that his uh, some of his zombies were spawning in as ferals at a very low level and they shouldn't have been so I'm just going off that I don't know if he's I want to say this is the same mod that I've had in since 1.0 I just haven't used it on the channel because well honestly it had naked people and I was afraid that was gonna be a big no-no on YouTube but Glock has run it and other people have run it, and they haven't had an issue, so I'm going to run it. And since I'm not worried about monetization, because I'm not that big yet. We'll just go with it. Right in your face. Let's get a little bleed damage. Or just die. This was uh, our base in the last playthrough. Damn it. Now I could have sworn.
Ooh. Him's a mean boy. Damn it. She's in the concrete. Great. Alright, well that is everybody. And here's the loot. So let me finish the quest first. Done. Now let's get our rewards and I'll meet you out front. Oh shit. Yeah, let, let me work on this stuff and I'll see you out front. Okay, so I didn't gather any resources. Uh, but I got all the stuff that I looted. So let's go ahead and read a bunch of stuff. Semi-mod schematic. Semi -mod schematic. That might come in handy. I did get a miner's glove. I'll use that for mining because it or block damage. Um, da -da. Scrapping for fun. Yep. Read those. Handgun stuff. Wrench quality 5, which eh, whatever. Uh, pipe pistol quality 5, eh. Uh, vehicle. That'll be nice. Some tech planet. Robotic Sledge Quality 3. Getting getting up there to get the uh, to get the stun baton. Armor. Light Armor's Quality 3. Okay, so I can make Quality 3 stuff. I might need to investigate that, especially since I found some armor parts. I'll have to take a look at that. Okay. I think the rest of the stuff can just go on the bike, and then I'll go in and make sure I didn't miss anything else. All right, I've already uh, put the duplicates in the bike, so I got a little bit more of leather and armor parts and stuff like that. I do want to make some... Uh, I don't have any rocks. Oh, I do have some rocks on me. Well, hey there, guy. Oh, don't have my knife on me, so I'm just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. All right. So let's go ahead and read these books while we're here. Eh. Get plenty of that. Be making some cobble. Night Stalker. Sneak 5% better at night. Bow Hunter. Wooden Bow Quality 1. Nice. Wooden Bow Quality 2. That's great. I might go ahead and do that. Okay. Hmm. Ammo is always good. Steel. I don't really have a way to get steel right now. That might not be a bad idea. Let's go ahead and get steel. Let's see if he's got any close jobs. Oof. Restore power. Pretty close. The infested clear at the Brumit residence. I don't know that I got time to do that Listen today. Up, jackass. You better not fuck this up, or I'll cut your goddamn throat. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and let the sun set on this episode. We got the... We got two trading missions done. Tier 3. Not a huge job today, but we did scout out what is going to be our horde base. I think tomorrow, starting day 8, what I'm going to do is go ahead and plan for the horde. So go ahead and start making preps for the horde. Get that done. And then once that's done, if I have any time left, then we may do a gig... The gig that we've got in the upper right, we may do that after I'm done preparing for the board. And I think that's just going to do it for right now. I do appreciate you guys coming along with me on this and having the patience to wait until I was a little bit better where I could actually sit down and do some editing and stuff. Do me a favor, hit the like button if you like what you saw, and definitely subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It does help, and I will catch all of you cats in the comments.
Let's play some games.